is episode 98 of Modded Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. So yes, I do know that my voice does sound funny. I do have a cold. And yes, I have to repeat it nearly every single episode that I do have a cold in. Because people do skip episodes and they're going to be like, Well, what the bloody hell happened to Data's voice? Well, you see, Data's been sick and he's on the recovering end, so yeah. So, do apologise for all that, and it, it will be the last time that I will actually, you know, say it in an intro. I just, I keep warning people. So, you know, if you see people in upcoming episodes saying, well, what, does Data sound different? Just, you know, remind them for me, guys, remind them for me. Crikey, so I don't have to keep repeating myself. But I am on the uh, recovering end now, which is blooming good. Blooming fantastic. So... Last episode, we uh, we managed to um, screw up a uh, wither kill and nearly started destroying crazy stuff uh, down below us, which wasn't good. Uh, haven't fixed that up yet. I've actually been hard at work on the new wing. So remember last episode, we did state we were going to be playing with reactors, uh, the big reactors mod, whatever it was called, very, very soon, which is exciting, but I'm nervous because um, I've never touched on it before. I've done a bunch of reading and, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see how it all goes. But anyway, as you can see here, I've extended the uh, the story, the deep storage cell area um, by quite a bit, just in case. And on the other side of this, this is where the new wing starts. Well, the new wing did start back way back there where we started digging it out. But uh, this is I, I wanted to I wanted to leave some space for more deep storage. Anyway, this is the new area. This is what we dug out last episode with the with the portal gun. Um, this is all done and being converted over to well, an almost shiny factory blocks here. Um, nothing is in nothing. Every every, every most of the ways are empty. See, just empty. Haven't ever really touched on that yet. But this way, this is where we're going to build our first reactor. Um, I haven't quite finished it yet, as you can see, but I have been digging it out. I'm really, again, I'm really quite nervous. Uh, there is a lot to the reactor, reactor, the big reactor mod or whatever. Oh, blah, blah, blah. What is it called, actually? Big... This, this one here. Yeah, big reactors. There's actually quite a bit to it. We've got heat and uh, waste and... Oh, crikey. I've been reading a bunch of on, on up on it, so... Oh, kind of nervous, kind of nervous. Now, um, okay, so let's get this started, shall we? Um, first off, we're going to need a bunch of reactor uh, uh, casing. Yes, reactor casing. So reactor casing, It's it's like... It's like building ourselves, it's like we're building, come in here real quick, it's like we're building uh, a smeltery again. So you know, you know how it like makes one big mega block unit? Same thing within a reactor. So we can, you can build reactors quite big, like 30 something by 48, I don't know. I read a bit about them. Um, but yeah, it's like doing that. So obviously we're going to need like the, the, the casing, the casing's the outside, you can use... You can use casing and reactor glass together to make it look pretty. Um, so you got the eulorium fuel rod, which goes in the middle. That's the that's yeah the actual fuel rod itself. Um, then you've got the reactor controller, and then you've got the reactor control rod. The control rod sits on top of the the fuel rod to control the rod itself. I think. I think that's correct. People, guys, remember, this is my first time doing reactors. I've just read about them. I've got as best knowledge as I possibly can. The best experience is to just jump right in and screw up and all that stuff. So I come on, I do apologize if I've messed up and I'm, you know, completely being a noob. So I do apologize because I know some people out there like, you know, nerdy reactor experts uh, this is reactor power tap. I think that's the out. No, that's not the output. I have no clue what that is. And then you got the reactor access points. You've got two of them here. Uh, you know, and then you've got the um, I don't know what the freak that does. And the computer port. I have no clue what that does. And there's two different reactors actually. There's um the turbine one, which has like giant. Like you have apparently you have to build the first reactor to go to the big turbine one. So a big turbine one looks like oh it's huge, it's massive. You can build these things 
massive and they turn and grind and do all sorts of crazy stuff which I want I want one of course I want one so anyway so I think we should get started on making the the cast the, the the casing for it to be honest casing and the glass they're the two obviously things I'm going to start pretty much simple so it requires iron which I think we need to smelt down a bunch of more iron because to be honest all my iron is in block form still uh, pretty sure we do have blocks of iron but other than that yeah that's it we don't actually have it in, in we've got it in raw form so we've got 1.5 million so we can easily make a bunch of um yeah well we're gonna have to smelt quite a few of that down because this my reactor is going to be quite big i don't know if 12 by 12 something like that i don't know far out i don't know what a proper dimensions of a reactor is the bigger the reactor obviously the more fuel it uses the more craziness it gets you can have a little baby what four by four i've forgotten what i read like it can be really teeny like you can make a really teeny reactor at the end of the day but i don't want to obviously start on a teeny reactor i want to start on a mid-size to, to large size i don't want to start small we'll start big and learn about it. I know, I know people are like, Daddy, you bloody Fruit Loop, you should be starting off nice and small and compact and this and that before you go somewhere. No, if we screw up, we screw up. I'm not, I'm not jumping up and down like a blooming Fruit fruit Loop. If we screw up, we screw up. There's nothing to it. Alrighty, so, okay, so we got some iron smelting down, um, obviously, and now we need some eulorium which is uh which is a it's a meltdown of the yellow right ore that we do get we've probably got frig loads of the yellow right ore to melt down that's no problem we'll check uh check what our supplies are uh, yellow right ore we got plenty of that but no eulorium that's uh that's okay we'll just go ahead and get that smelted down real quick not a problem so for fastness, I think what we'll end up doing to make this this job a little bit quicker is if we get a draconic draconic chest real quick, pop one of these bad boys out here, and we just go find a main line that we can confis confiscate. Um, where would be a main line somewhere? All right, whatever. We'll go stick it on the main power output. Here, yeah, we'll just pop this bad boy in here. Like this. Hello. There we go. Bing. All right. So all we got to do now is throw this uh, yellow right in here. Put it to all. So literally it will start smelting. It should start. Autom it's not going to smelt. Really? Okay. It's not going to smelt. Feel? Oh. Put on this. Okay. Okay. So. Um, oh. There we go. There we go. So your lorium. I want all. Why won't it automatic? Oh, there. It's loading now. Crikey. So there you go. So this will be a lot easier than using um, our freaking electric furnaces. So we just let this go. And let it go nuts and just smelt all that. And we'll come back to it. See? I'm trying to, you know, use the faster methods to doing this. Um, maybe we should pop some more on uh, uh, since we're doing a bunch of it. So let's just pop some more on. So we have a metric butt ton of freaking uh, this eulorium smelted down. There we go. Bob's your blooming uncle. But we'll take out, we'll take two stacks out of here. There we go. We got two stacks of eulorium ready to go. Blooming fantastic. I'm trying to get some of this cast car, this um, casing made. All right. So now we need this graphite bar. Graphite bar, which is a uh, graphite block. Ah, uh, it's just pretty much coal in a furnace. Bob's your bloody uncle. Coal in a furnace. So, that's going to be actually quite easy. Coal in a furnace is going to turn straight into bars. Thank you for iron. Say, so, bum, 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 graphite bar. Fan bloody tastic. Maybe, maybe it's easier to use, put some more draconic chests and keep smelting these down. I know this is... Uh, we need to set up an automatic furnace. To be honest, we need we need DME to start smelting a lot of this. Um, so we'll, we'll get we'll get another bloody chest here. It's a lot easier doing it this way. Get a bunch of iron because I need iron. So we I'll smelt down a bunch of iron. Just just go nuts. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, throw that there with its friend. 
really quickly. And on this side, boom. There we go. Bing. All right, throw all that in. Set it to all. Hopefully it does take... See, for some reason it doesn't, like, register it right away. It should be taking automatic the ore down there. And it, you have to sort of, like... You have to just, like, convince it. Oh, there we go. It's off. Off it goes. There we go. Getting plenty of iron. This is how we're going to get our iron really quickly. How is our Eulorium? That's coming along nicely. Bloomin' fantastic. There. So, using the Draconic Chest to smelt automatic stuff for us is going to be obviously the best way to do these things, I think, to be honest, because we need mass amounts of stuff smelted. How's our thing going? Alright. Okay, so we're going to get our first casting going. Well, you get four of them, so it's not like you... Yeah. So we'll get another stack of this bad boy, and I think we'll go make, uh, we'll go make some. We'll go, we'll, we'll try our best to get multiple stacks. Grab that. Throw that in there. How is the rest of our iron going for? Yeah, that's almost done there. I love, I need, I need to make an overclock factory, like a factory to produce tons of these overclock upgrades. I need heaps of them. I need to, like, go nuts at, like, instant smelts or stack. There we go. All right, one more. And then we got four of them. We already got a stack of Eulorium. Probably have a small, multiple stacks of what some call it. And that will get our casting going. That's going to be... <clears throat> sorry. Voice. Drive me up the wall here. That's going to be good for our floor. This is going to give our measurements, like... I don't know how big we're going to go, but it's going to be big. Well, in my... In my case big. Alright, grab all this. There we go. Bob's your bloomin' uncle. Oh, crikey. Alright, let's throw some of these together. We'll pop all these in there. And we'll pop the uh, iron in there as well. And shift click. There we go. Alright, got our first freaking reactor the casings going here. That's going to allow us, so we can pop these back in here, and some of this is in here too. Alright, so that will allow me to go mark out our brand, whoop, this way, crikey, our base is really becoming an awesome facility. This is a hot, it's meant to be a bloody hobbit hole, it's becoming a pretty freaking awesome hobbit hole. Alright, so, obviously we need to build it back from the door a little bit, so we have some space. All right, and obviously I've got to have to clear out the rest of the room here. So this is where it starts. You'd walk in and you would see it. You'd be like, whoa, yeah, yeah, oh, yep, yep. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so one, two, uh, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, should 15 be it, uh, 15 by 15 is quite large for my first reactor, uh, I don't know whether to go bigger or not, oh crocky, I have no clue, um, Okay, okay, so that's, what, that's a 15 by 15? Maybe we should go 16 just to make it, um, because it's, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mmm, okay, right here, boom. Yeah, this, this is it, this, this has to be it. That's a lot of blocks as it is, I gotta, I gotta think, it, it is a lot of blocks, so come up the side like that. We've got a three gap on the side here. We don't have a three gap on the side. No, we do have a three. We have a three gap side on there, so it's quite equal, quite equal indeed. So if that's fifteen, I'm double. I'm going to double check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes. So I've got to go fifteen back, and obviously fifteen at the back here is it's not going to fit. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ba-boom. 
there. So obviously I've got to dig quite a little bit out, but that's going to be quite a large reactor for my my first one, isn't it? It's probably going too big. Am I going too big? I'm not going too big. I don't blooming know. I really don't. So what I'll do real quickly is clear out. I've got to clear out the roof. So what I've got to do is literally use me hammer here and just keep going nuts until I finish clearing out the roof. And then I'm going to push this even further backwards and get this base done. And then we're going to have to start building more components to it. Oh, crikey. I'm nervous as all hell because I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. But, okay, so that's good. That's It's good. It's good. It's good. I need to stop second-guessing myself and just do this. I got this. I got this. All right, guys. I'll be back shortly. Let me dig out the rest of this room. All righty then, guys. I am back. And, wow. This thing is turning out to be a lot bigger than I thought. So this is a 15 by 15, like, it's it's a pure cube at this point, point, point. I was a little bit worried about hitting the outside of the mountain. That's how big this bloody thing is. But, wow, far out. The amount of resources that's going to go into building this freaking reactor is insane. So I've popped on a lot more freaking... Um, uh, coal to smelt down. I mean a lot. When I say a lot, I've popped in a lot. So if we go out here really quick, I'll show you. But I'm planning to make some more glass and that up now. Our very first reactor glass. So we'll head out here really quickly. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, it, like the, the graphite bar is currently smelting like crazy. So we can get a whole stack of that bad boy iron. Look at that. I've been smelting iron like just like crazy as well, which is good. Throw all this in the ME and we'll get a stack of iron going as well. That should give us so much uh, casing. It's not even funny because we need, we need casing to make to make the freaking glass, the reactor glass. So, which we need a metric butt ton of nearly everything here. Go, 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 go. But that freaking room, it's going to look gorgeous once it's done. This reactor's going to be, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it, it might be too big. People might be screaming at me, Data. Data, you fruit loop, you screwed up. Or oh, Data, that thing's going to chew through so much resources. So, okay, so first off, we'll make some more of the this, this casing, just as much as we can. Brrr, bing. Wow, that was perfect. And then we go ahead and make some reactor glass. Boom. Oh no. Really? Really, really. I'm going to pop that in there. So, reactor glass, we need. Pop that in there. There we go. Alright, what we'll do is just pop in all that there. That's better. I can finally just shift click it. Alright. Stacks of it. Nope. Okay, so I've got to melt down a metric butt ton of more glass because. That is definitely not the uh, re, um, actor. All right, we got plenty of that. So I could go and finish the thing off, though. Uh, where's my compressed sand? Compressed sand? So it looks like I do. I have a bunch of compressed sand still. So we might, to make this quicker again, get another draconic chest out. Because I don't want to be standing in front of the furnaces all day. And we get the compressed sand. This is all compressed sand. A few stacks of that bad boy. And I'm compress the crap out of it. Sure, pop this on here. Yeah, this is going to take quite some time and quite a lot of resources. Alright, this is going to take quite a lot of resources to uh, build this uh, reactor. I know it's not going to be an overnight job, but the point is at the end of the day, I'm finally going to have my first reactor. Before, no, maybe before episode 100? I don't know. Alright, feel at all. Alright, come on. Hurry up. Suck your first one. Just, just, there we go. Alright, we're going to have a metric right ton of glass really quickly. Which is what we wanted. Uh, all this is going to be transported back into the ME. So we do have a metric butt ton. And all that too. So we'll head back out to our little plant area. Little, I mean huge. This is the part of the base that that is going to be our power station slash spawning area. You just walk in like, oh, it's perfect. So, 
pretty much now what I'll do is what we got what we gotta do is every single side is going to be made out of glass. A reactor glass, sorry. Uh which is this stuff here. So literally this stuff oh this stuff is nice and clear. But this back wall will be done, even the roof will be done with the rods. Because next we need to make the Eulorium Yol fuel rods, this stuff here. So, which is just tons more iron. Fire out the amount of iron that's going into this build is going to be extreme. So, need more Eulorium and need make make some of these fuel rods. And what are those things that sit on top of these fuel rods called again? I think... These white ones, the reactor control rod, they sit, which is just a bit of redstone. Holy crap, that, that just, yep, okay, metropart ton wall. So really, what we'll end up doing is filling, uh, doing like a grid pattern. Um, apparently that's the best one, like a checkerboard. And then you put cooling between the, you put co cooling between the, um, the Eulorium fuel rods. Um, to keep it cool, because apparently if you don't keep it cool, then you have uh, not overheating problems, because apparently these things, they don't explode, which is good, because I wouldn't have this nowhere near my base if this thing exploded, especially this size, holy crikey, could you imagine the bang? Uh, but apparently it just gets really, really hot and uses more fuel, more fuel and there's more uh, like radioactivity, I don't know, I need to do more reading I, at the moment. I've got to sit here half the day and I've got to start, you know, putting all this glass together. Um, that's what I'm waiting for right now. Uh, doing this huge cube of glass pretty much. Uh, so we can see in. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. All right, guys, I think we're going to call it now. Thanks for watching episode 98 of Modded Minecraft. This has been Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Don't forget, if you are enjoying the content, to smash those buttons, guys. Just smash them. Smash them really good. And I'll catch us all later. This thing's going to be bloody huge.